So I, I think, I mean, maybe people in the chat can tell us, but I think we're squad streaming. I think so too. And if not, we'll just have to, all right, beautiful. So uh, we're not going to, because this, this is a very, very intense, I mean, it's like world championship format, best of 14, first to seven and a half wins. Dude, I'm going to be so bummed if it's seven, seven, because I don't even have a rule for that. I just assumed one of us would win. Do we just each gift each other 20 subs and then Twitch gets all the money? Yeah, I mean, I, I, I don't know about that, but <laughs> well, I don't know. Or Armageddon, I don't know. That's actually, so it's good that you clarified because I thought it was first to eight, but best of 14, I guess, is is first to seven and a half. Yeah, because if it's seven, six, a draw would win you the match. Got it. Okay. So. Okay, fair enough. Rapid games, right. Then we play 15, 10, best of four with five plus three mm. blitz, right? Yeah, that would do that. Could be here all night. Oh, we could just call it a draw and then make a part two. That, that could also be content, but. Uh... Ooh. So Eric has to have, ah, there we go. I'm nervous. All right, we got to start with the traditional. So the rules are that I play a new variation in every game, okay? That is the rule. Uh, I'm going to go with my classical. That's okay. It's all good. Because we are the best. Thanks for making this super simple. I'm going to go with the OG. Um, this is the OG variation as far as I'm concerned. I'm going to play bishop e7 and go for this line. Uh, there's also my favorite CD knight h5, which I definitely will save. I'll probably play that in the next game. Uh, he plays bishop d3. Here, I'm going to play this, this knight h5 idea. Eric, I'm sure, is familiar with literally everything in this system. So, that's great. I don't even, I don't have to take, but I can. And I also think there's a move like g6 here. Uh, maybe I can just castle. I can just castle here. You can leave this knight, and you're basically what you're basically trying to do is wait to see which way he's going to castle. Because if he goes, if he doesn't castle, and I take on g3, um, right? So you know he's 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 really trying not to castle is what he's trying to do. Uh, he wants to like re-gift me some way. Um, like if I take on g3, he probably just plays bishop h7. If I take on e5, he's going to take with the pawn. Maybe I just bring my knight back. I'm not too thrilled with this, but it is what it is. I also don't even know what we transpose to. We're like in a slightly different, like, London position now. So that's a pretty common idea. But then his bishop is pretty terrible. Again, he's not castled, so I, like, I don't, I don't, okay. Well, that was a short-lived. That was short-lived. Take on d7. Uh, sorry, take and, and knight d7. Looks pretty standard. I mean, am I going to get mated is really the question. I just had a game very similar to this, but I'm assuming that after f5, I'm completely fine. On Passant, I'll just take, and then all of this is going to be covered. <clears throat> of course, there's 14 different variations. Yes. Of course. I mean, I can play whatever. Like, next game, I'll go for a Dutch system. Um... So yes, it's basically me defending against the London. It's him trying to implement the ideas of the London, and it's me trying to defend against them. Because a lot of people ask what to do against the London, um, and they don't really get satisfying answers. So that is why we decided to do this. C4 is a good move, very common idea in these positions. Uh, okay, I'm going to go knight b6. I feel as though I'm passive, but I think I'm doing fine. Maybe h6 or g6. Which one? Both kind of ugly. Both kind of ugly. Both have drawbacks. Let's go g6. I'm not thrilled with this because he can start. He can start some stuff, but whatever. All right, queen. C I gotta speed up. Also, I don't want to get into a huge time trouble. He's he's got a very pleasant position here. Very pleasant. Did I add a delay? I did not add any delay. No. Why would I add a delay? I'm not worried about stream sniping or cheating or any of that. It's my, I mean, my opponent is literally one of the most respectful people in all of chess. Okay, I'm going to take back. Obviously, he's got bad intentions here. He wants to play this move. Uh, if I play knight d5... Um, okay, I was just going to take and then c. I mean, I'm assuming he's going to take like this. I'll play b6, bishop b7. I'm assuming that he's going to take like this and I will... Six bishop b7. I don't think I'm losing. He's gonna try to really decimate my my character and my integrity here. I 
play king g7 is the question because if i play bishop b7 takes takes he might have this and that just looks a little bit uncomfortable so let's go here And like, if this very it looks very dangerous, I'm not completely convinced that it's like that good for him, but we'll see. You know you're a serious chess.com player when you don't accept challenges and you have chat disabled. Like, man, my opponent is serious. Um, Bishop h4 takes takes, some sort of queen d8 h6. Yeah, this is th this is more than okay. This is more than okay. The bishop on b7 is I think is completely fine. Also, I could have maybe went for some sort of g5, but my my position is very weak on the dark squares. But given the 30 second time advantage, I think I'm 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 not doing so poorly. Um and if I defend the 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 kingside attack, oftentimes a London player could overextend. So let's just see if that happens. Um, let's also just not like lose in one move. Obviously, he wants to play bishop f4. I'm assuming I can just play something like rook d8. Right now, push has to come to shove somehow. So if I play queen c6, bishop f4, it's not a very, you know, it's not the world's most pleasant position to have to play. Let's put it that way. Very passive. Gotta find a way to get some pieces off the board. Let's go c4. I don't actually see his plan. Like, I don't know how he's gonna try to beat me here. So I don't see his idea to try to win. Um, maybe it's this? But then the second he does that, I'm gonna go here. Alright, let me consolidate. Yeah, again, if he if he goes for something, wait, but he can take take and play that, but I still have rook h8. Yeah, I, I had a feeling this was about to happen. But now now I have this g5 move, and I'm not so sure what's what anymore, because this, this, and he can't actually mate me, as far as I see. So, and if I hide my king, again, it's not, it becomes very, I don't know who's attacking who. So I use my queen side to dislodge his bishop. I'm not really worried if he takes. And if I get to play h6, I don't really see any weaknesses. And he's only got 20 seconds. So, let's just focus here. Let's just focus here. All right, he gives me this check. Obviously, I have to play this king h8 move. Um, that's a mate threat. Can't be that bad of a move. Well, maybe it is. And then maybe I just inch forward again to hit this pawn. I've got to be a little bit careful. But now that I induce this weakness, and he's only got five seconds. Like, he is very low on time. So... Queen h5 or queen g4 is possible. I, th I like rook d2. That let me just not go too crazy, but rook d2 is looking looking nice. How do I do this? Queen d5 maybe. Queen d5, bishop e4. Let me just take. Wow. Wow. Okay, rook d8. Wow. Some super consolidating here. Oh man, this is going to get intense. I don't want to give him control of the file. I'm going to play... Oh, I can't play that. A draw would be a very... <laughs> Very peaceful resolution for the first game. He doesn't want to draw. He's playing for the win. I respect it. Wow, I almost flagged. That could have been really bad. Uh-oh. Ooh. Just barely survived that. I think he missed. Whoa. 
Check. What even is this game? What even is this game? That's so dirty. He's gonna make a knight. He's gonna- oh my goodness, but wait. <laughs> what a game! Oh my god. Oh, that's so crazy. Wow. That is... That is cool. That, I, you, gotta, you gotta give a man respect. You know what I mean? You just gotta do it. That was pretty cool. That was pretty cool. I still think this doesn't quite work. Okay, let me also not hang any material. God, he's looking to mate me now. Wow, what a first game. I mean, wow. Wow, 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 wow. What a first game. <laughs> what a first game. This, 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 this is really why we're here, isn't it? Crazy. Guess I just go for this. Let's move. It's so frustrating. I just can't make a queen. I don't know how I'm supposed to... He's, and now he's going to go for some sort of mating net? Okay. Craziness. Absolute craziness, this game. Is he working to lose now? What is he doing? What is, what is going on here? What, what is even happening? Is all his- are all his shenanigans gonna come back to hurt him here? What? Why am I winning? How did it happen that I'm the one winning? Oh my goodness, wait, I'm literally winning the game. And G2. I think I'm winning. Am I winning? I think- yes. Wow. I mean, what a game, is all I have to say. <laughs> what a game, man. <laughs> oh, it's not over, is it? It's not over. This is... This might be one of the most incredible games of chess I have ever been a part of. Yeah, let's go here. You have no idea how nervous I am. This is... This is premium content right here. <sighs> there's so many traps. Oh my god, there's so many ways to lose a queen here. Okay, but I, but I think this is it. I think this is... This is how we get it done, right here. He's gonna win my pawn. But I'm gonna go e2. And that's it. I'm gonna go e2 and that's it. I think Eric's going to play this out, which is, which is also premium content, but <laughs> making me earn the victory here. Imagine I don't, that would be pretty tilting, but I, I think, I think I'm going to be all right. I think, I think I know how to do this. Maybe I don't. So tricky, this man. Okay, I've glued him to the back rank. It should be straightforward now. Let's go down to B1, I guess? And then you just bring the king. Okay, and he just lost on time. Okay, well... Um, that was exciting. Uh, let me update the scoreboard. 1-0. We strike first. Uh, and I don't know if Eric Rosen... Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. That was, uh, that was a hundred move game to get things going. Okay, let's go for the Dutch now. Wow. 
<laughs> sometimes, sometimes, sometimes there's not much to say. <laughs> Just wow. <laughs> Holy hell, what a game. Okay, so I like to play, I like to play this setup. This is a pretty, oh, that's, that is evil. That is evil, is all I have to say. I mean, wow. What is this? What have I gotten myself into? Is knight c6 a move? Oh, it looks like a move. Okay. I was worried about this. Yeah, I know queen f3 is a move in some of these positions. And well, Okay, so Eric, Eric is, is showing me his intentions very fast. Um, he is going to just attack me. Okay. God bless him. May the best man win. So, I like to play like this with white, but I don't think Eric is actually playing the critical approach. I think this is the critical approach. Uh, and actually, you're supposed to hit this pawn. But this, these early Queen F3s uh, in the London are very venomous. I play them myself with white. So, okay. There is D5. Wow. Um, take, 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 queen f6, c7 is hanging, I also have knight b4, he's I guess he's planning this, but then I, then I just thought I have this move. So knight b4, castles, knight d5, takes, takes, and I guess he's just gonna, he's trying to like blow up the position. Ugh, do I just play it safe? so tough to tell here whether the initiative that he can make is that strong i'm gonna do it i mean i i don't i don't really see anything unless i'm just completely blundering this but knight b4 seems to be the only move if i take on d5 so eric is actually i mean he's playing something very fascinating this kind of early this is totally not what the london is supposed to look like but um it's, it's perfectly within reason to play like this, if black gives you the possibility, so... Okay, he takes. Wait, what? I did not think that that was possible. Why didn't I think this was possible? I guess he wants king d1? But what if I just take? Wait, what? What if I just take this? So now he can't castle, and if he takes my rook, I take here, and I'm pretty sure he's just dead lost because his next move is this, and then I win his queen with discover with a uh, discovery. So the threat on c2 is a problem. If he plays rook c1, first of all, I can already just block with my knight. Okay, he gives me that check, but <coughs> really? Okay, he has this. If I do that, I was just gonna play king f7, like. Straight up. I was just going to go king f7. Alright, let's just play fast. I don't know if, the, if I'm supposed to play like this, but it is what it is. I'm already committed. Not playing that. I am not a weenie. I don't believe that this is good for me. Let's put it this way. So he takes... Oh, now I see the difference. Well, the difference is I don't have a bishop check. That's really the difference. But, uh... Okay, I take his rook. I think king e2 was actually better. I think he had to play king e2 because that way this move would have come with a tempo on my piece. That, that is what he should have done, I think. I have no idea, given the status of the position, but that's what I think. So he plays knight f3, and the same thing if his king was here. Um, he's got some really nasty checks, potentially. My knight is in some serious trouble over there. Uh, I can maybe play a6, just tickle. Frankly, a6 might be my only move that doesn't just, you know, outright lose the game. Uh, okay, let's play a6. I know he has this. I I'm, in, I'm in big trouble. He, if he doesn't let me get away, this game I'm just gonna have to play more on the clock. There is just no... Also, wh wait, what am I doing? Can't I just play knight c2? Why did I not play knight c2? What's wrong with me? I guess, I guess in my mind, I assumed that knight c2 would be met with this move, and my knight is still trapped. I guess that was my logic, but I just didn't verbalize that. 
So to you guys, it probably sounded really ridiculous, but, you know. <laughs> it's like, why is this idiot not playing knight c2? Well, because he's an idiot. I mean, it's in the question, you know. Uh, how about bishop d6? Yeah, bishop d6. All right, I need to simplify. a6 is hanging. Yeah, I don't know why he didn't take it. My, my idea was that it would help me with development. That was my idea. King e7 here, or is that stupid? I mean, this entire position is stupid. So in stupid positions, you know, uh, traditional rules go out the window. Now we both have 30 seconds again. This is less of a London and more of a, of a, of a drunk mud wrestling competition, what it is. Um, he could have taken on a6. It was completely within reason. Um, but, all right, now he's down to 20 seconds. He's a very creative player in low time, though. So just like last game, I can't, you know, I can't take my time situation for granted. Okay, h6. But I am going to play a lot faster in this time. I'm going to try to play a lot faster throughout this match. Because Eric is ridiculous when his time is low. I don't know how he's so good. Um, okay, let's go b5. I'm basically going to keep being unpredictable. He has to play back to e2. So my idea on bishop d3 is that I play g5. If he... Yeah, so he takes, takes. Now he has to... Okay, that's very creative, but I'm not very sure. I'm not sure it's good, this part. Okay, rook d8, just bringing my rook. Really like to play this move, but I can't quite do that. So how about g5? Ah, I missed knight d3. That's annoying. b4? Yeah, like I said, he's just somehow so creative when his time is low. I, I mean, it's, it's a skill many people should try to acquire in chess. Okay, bishop d7, he's going to play knight c5, and then I think I'm going to put my bishop here. And he just, wow, he just flags. Okay. But we've navigated the chaos better than he has, two games. So, but I, I think even at the end, the position is, is good for me. I think here it's definitely good for me. I've consolidated, and if he plays knight c5, I have bishop b5, and I have some very nasty ideas. Like, for example, taking, taking, and playing rook d1 mate. So 2-0. That was a wild game, but not bad. Not bad. Yeah, I mean, I, that was weird. That was weird. I, I guess he just hesitated on knight ac5. Um, okay. Yeah, the warm-up game really is, uh, is, is paying dividends. Yes. Um, okay, let me... Am I supposed to send him a challenge... some minor issues. All right, here we go. 2-0. All right, uh, I played the Dutch last time. Um, what can I play? Okay, I'm going to play Knight F6. Oh, <laughs> no, no worries, no worries. Uh, I... Okay, let's play e6. Then maybe I play like a okay. I don't. I don't want. I don't want to deal with this anymore. Okay. I'm. I don't want to deal with this. So I'm gonna. I'm gonna play c5 early. Is what I'm gonna do. Um, mixing things up so early in a London is difficult. All right. Knight c6. Knight c3. What did I get myself into? And I think d5 is on the way, huh? So if d5, wait, no, 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 something's wrong about this system. I'm going to take on d4, and I think I'm going to play bishop out to b4, because I think in this position, if I play a6, he goes here. Maybe, maybe bishop b4? Bishop b4 looks exceptionally stupid. Like, it doesn't look like I should be playing that move. It just doesn't. Like, that move doesn't make any sense. I don't know the theory here, though, so this is actually a pretty terrifying position. So if I play a6 and he plays d5... Wow. But this is, I mean, this is, this is why we're here. To test the true power of this opening. So let's play bishop b4. I'm not happy about it. Not happy about it, but I will do it. And then I think I'm going to go knight d5. This is my idea. Okay, he is playing very fast. So now I'm going to take back up to e7 because I want to keep my bishop. And I'm going to play castles and d5. Castles and d5. Maybe this was not right, but I don't have a lot of time and I'm not going to sit here and pretend like 
you know. I have any idea how to play this position, so... Whatever. Now he's gonna want to attack me. I'm gonna throw in b6, because otherwise my, my, my pieces here are gonna be pretty... pretty unhappy. I don't really know, what is, what is, what is this move trying to accomplish? If I play h6... Bishop d6, bishop f6... Bishop d6. Let's just be faster. Because we're up 2-0, but my man has three freaking minutes on the clock, so... So 2-0 so far. And I need to stabilize because this position strikes me as... Uh, garbage? L little bit garbage, you know? So. Yeah, let's drink some tea. Oh. Did I just lose? Is that what just happened there? Whoops. Hmm. Well, defending my position certainly did not work here. Okay, let's go. I mean, it's the only move I have. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm completely lost. So, all right, either I survive this game or I get obliterated and it's two to one, game on. Mm. If f6, he has h5. Okay, let's go rook h8. I mean, I, th I think I'm, I'm just, I'm just gonna have to settle for getting completely obliterated this game. So if this... It's basically mate. King h5 is, is, is horrible. Let me play this move. <laughs> that is a very funny announcement. Levy Rosman and Eric Rosen are playing an epic London team match where the winner wins the London Bridge and big money. So I think he missed that after this, I don't have to take. I think he forgot that I have queen h4, and actually I'm the one who's going to win the game. So these two moves, very natural. Um, but somehow, I mean, for sure this is completely winning for white. Like, I, I'm not anywhere near questioning that this is completely winning for white. But I will be questioning if Eric doesn't win this. Okay, and I, and I do need to speed up. So I'm assuming he's going to take on e6. Actually, it's it's not the clear it's not clear as day if he takes on e6 because I don't have to take and even if I do take no I'm not gonna take what the f what am I talking about am I insane so rook h4 and 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 then and then and then we start cooking up some good stuff and I can also play bishop d7 and bring this rook out as well. Actually, it's I don't know I mean I'm assuming I'm completely lost. I'm assuming I'm completely lost, but who knows? And I like that Eric is now down in the dumps with me in terms of time. Okay, so obviously here my intention was to play rook to this square, but I just realized that uh, that move is actually uh, queen h8. Uh, queen h8. Queen h8. So, if knight h7, I have rook g4. If knight f3, I have rook g4. If knight h3, I have rook g4. If he plays any move, I have rook g4. But still, he can take... Rook g4, queen f3, and I have no idea what's going on. So, it's time to focus once again. I mean, absolute insanity. Just, whoa, that move must lose. There must be something very wrong with this move. I don't know what it is, but I'm going to try to find it. Let's go rook g4. Is he going to play rook h1? No, but then I just take. He can't play rook h1 because I just sacrifice. Um, queen h4, king e2, bishop a6. 
the bishop a6 looks terrifying to play. Let's go. Let's just... Let's try to refute this entire setup. I just don't believe in it. I just don't... I'm not going to take my own king, but I, I don't believe in the setup. All right, bishop takes f4. The whole, the, whole, the whole thing is about to collapse because on rook to h1, I have queen takes g5. And when he takes on f4 and I take with the rook, uh, I think I'm just winning material. I think the whole thing is about to just fall apart. Um, let's take... Rook e4. But this is still so complicated. Queen g4. He trapping my rook? He might be, but I, I think I'm still winning. It's fine. He gets my rook, but I think I get the game. That that's definitely creative, but I but I'm I'm just not convinced here. Just not convinced. Ninety seven. No, I don't think this is gonna cut it. Bishop a six, and yeah, I mean it's just just I think it's just pretty straightforward now. Um, check, takes, rook c8, king f yeah, just easy, 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 let's go, 3-0, 3-0, okay, he lulled me into thinking that that was going to be a, a, a spot for resignation, but, uh, there, there was no, no resignation after all, so he's gonna play rook f7, but, it's it's not there there is unfortunately nothing here for him, I don't think. Well maybe there is. Rook g5. I think he missed a chance there. I think he could have done a bit better. What a what a what an insane I don't know how he and I always get complete insanity on the board. I don't know why we do this to ourselves or how we do this to ourselves, but somehow it just always happens. Very stressful position. Mate. Oh my god. I swear I'm not doing this deliberately. I mean, he's just got some sort of talent for making comebacks, and I, I mean, wow, wow, Jesus, <laughs> what, what a, what a game, oh my god, um, okay, let's see what he'll play against the King's Indian setup, I mean, I'm assuming he'll play e4, okay, well, or maybe not, maybe he'll just, aha, this one, right, yes, do I play d5? For the sake of, of, of the viewership, uh, and the fact that, you know, I'm up, I'm gonna go for King's Indian, he's gonna go Queen D2, and I'm gonna go C6. So I'm gonna try to fight, you know, because I know his intentions are to... Ah... <sighs> Let's see what I can, what I can... Because I don't know which way he's gonna castle yet, is really... Is really the thing. Do I play h6? I'm gonna I'm gonna try to slow crawl it. Maybe okay. So he he there we go. That's the move that I was looking at. Now I'm gonna put my bishop on g4, and it's it's a very weird position because I'm not letting him. Oh okay. <laughs> I'm not letting him develop his e pawn. Said Levy as Eric very confidently developed his e pawn. Um, takes takes e5 is pretty interesting, but I don't wanna. I don't wanna do anything too too risky. So how about b5? This is normally how moderns work, because he, he's most likely going to end up that way. Wait, is he... what is this? Did he just hang the d4 pawn?
I mean, I, I don't think he's supposed to lose this pawn, let's put it that way. I don't think he's supposed to... Yeah, I mean, I saw this, and if I take, take, then he's attacking my rook. But I thought I... First of all... No, I don't have that. But I, I'm fine giving that away, which, which I think is, is lost in all this, is that I don't care, I don't think. Like, if I lost my B-pawn for his D-pawn? I, I don't know. I don't know. It's, it's very weird. Very weird what's going to happen. All right, knight d7. Here come, I mean, he must castle, like, now, basically. Because he doesn't have the, the break in the center. So he has to put his king there. It just doesn't make any sense if he doesn't castle. Um, I'm assuming it doesn't make sense. Uh, rook b8? Okay, but now that he's not castling, like, I've got a target, which doesn't look nice for white, I don't think. Knight e5, queen here, eh, maybe queen out. Queen out looks pretty nice. Let's just move the queen out. It's a very common idea in these positions. Let's just play queen a5. Um, there, there is a chance that I, I lose in spectacular fashion very soon. There's also a chance I win in spectacular fashion very soon. As far as this match is going, it's very tough to tell what is going to happen when. Okay, let's play a super alpha zero move. I don't, I mean, alpha zero somewhere could have had a seizure. But I think I'm, I'm damaging his structure to, to such a degree here with this move. Like, he's got such bad structure that maybe this trade is good. Maybe. I'm not saying it is good, but I'm saying maybe. Now let's play knight c5. So, very peculiar. Knights versus bishops. I saw somebody in the chat said, how do you always make... Because I, I try to challenge conventional chess rules a lot when I play. Like, I'll, I'll do stuff that's aggressive that I know might be bad. Um, but I, I do it because, you know, you, I feel like you, you all would enjoy it. All right, now I'm going to trade off. I'm helping his structure, but he doesn't have a bishop. Maybe there's e5. Uh, maybe there's just a knight h5 here, although that, I mean, knight h5 just looks depressing. It looks like, I don't know, you've, like, had to do this or something. Play. Maybe this was all a little too creative. Let's go knight h5. Did I just blunder? No, that's not a blunder. Got this looming. That's always a weakness. I think I will have to castle. I mean, there's just no way around it. Um, but then he's always going to play f5. Maybe I just go d5. Maybe I just stop playing like an, like an idiot. That's also an option. <laughs> Not for everybody, but maybe I should stop. Okay, queen c7, because I saw rook a1 was going to happen, and that does not look very pleasant. So, at least this... Okay. Eric also saw it and realized that it didn't look very pleasant, at least for me. Let's play c5. Because that at least blocks his bishop. He's definitely better. This, this was a little bit too exquisite of a plan. But who cares? You know? Um, castle's f5, d5. Is that, is that good? Or am I losing there? Man, my time situation is very stressful. Okay, castles, f5, king h7, bishop h6, rook g8. That's what we're doing here. We're doing this. He's going to take, and I'm just going to play rook g8. Just take it, Eric. Just take it. Just take it. Take your pawn. But I'm ready, I'm ready to start the comeback with the move d5 any second. Or c4, by the way, which would really weaken his structure if he took it. But yeah, he managed his clock a lot better than I did this game. So... But this trade looks very good for black. Like, if I can make that trade happen, I think I'm very happy. Um... Okay, d5 with some intention of, of queen h2 and, and this. Here comes the counterplay. I, I, I shouldn't have rushed this. I actually think I should have just simply taken this pawn. Because now, he always has the option to take me. I think I just screwed this up a little bit. No, I think I just screwed this up a lot. I should have taken. But in my low time, I was only thinking of one plan, so I got a little bit of tunnel vision. And I think now if Eric plays this right, I, I really should be just completely lost. Okay, interesting. He does it this way. I don't know if I agree with this. I don't really have a lot of time to disagree with it, though. Threatening that. Let's go e6. 
just doing my best. I mean, I, I just don't have a lot of time. That's really a problem. Can he take? No, but then I play Rook takes. Right. Um. This is bad. He can take. Rook g7. Fg6. King h8. I must be lost. I just must be lost. This position doesn't make any sense. Um, takes. Dude, somehow some- Oh, I lost my queen. I lost my queen, is what I just did there. He just takes. Alright, he saw it. Ah, oh, that was- that was not good. One for Eric. Three to one. Damn. Well, the game's gonna start in a moment. I should have just taken with the queen. Well, no, no, taking with the queen is also bad. Yeah, it's all very dangerous. I played with fire and I got burned. All right. Let's